Welcome back. We have just released the Rachni Queen. And killed uh, Liara's mom. So you win some, you lose some, I guess. Weren't there like containers here somewhere? I swear to God, there were. What are these supposed to be? Are these Ragni being grown? Or are they Krogan testicles? I choose to believe they're Krogan testicles. Um. I swear you could get like to a lower platform somewhere and that there was a crate there. I guess that is no longer the case. We can return to the barracks. That's actually we can't because it's closed. This layout is confusing to me. So used to the old one. Um, this goes to the tram. I guess we'll go this way. And this is the emergency exit. And it really does not want us to go back there right now. We have to go to the hot labs. And I know what awaits us there. More Rachni. Always fun. And Yaroslav Tartakovsky is also here. Are you here to secure the situation? But not for long. How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Ragnar ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, Mass produce them. Create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. They're basically like tribbles, except a lot less fluffy. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. That basically lines up with what the queen told us. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. <laughs> I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates burst of Neutron radiation, 
kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Once the Purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> mother always say I would meet a bad end. Your mother was wise, I guess. Um, that's where we came from. This is where we're going. You can't get the password from him before you've been here. Nothing here. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry. The sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. <sighs> Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. Sure, Spock. Um, all these plans to make, like, to use animals or whatever to make soldiers, they never go r well, do they? What's wrong with, you know, a drone? Or a gun? Like, uh, using dinosaurs or dolphins or whatever never goes well. Are there any survivors in here? Lady Benezia, an executive secretary of Binary Helix, is on the operations deck. There are no other living crew members within the lab structure. Um, I don't think Benezia is here anymore either. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach in laboratory pod Gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. I need information on the neutron purge. The neutron purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. What exactly does this thing do? The purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. We would be wise to avoid touching any controls without reading the instructions. That is advisable for all systems within this facility. Generally speaking, pretty good advice, I think. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Who would have the code? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Helix. We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. Well, it just so happens we know where to find Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Mira the stuff. They have a great sense of dramatic timing, don't they? It's only the one, though, so... Not a huge issue. There we go. Fighting out of here, that's gonna be the fun part. Negative contact, Shepard. Online. How can I help you? Wait. We're moving on. Locking I actually don't have the code. Need to look at his body. I forgot about that. There we go. Is this new? I don't really remember seeing this. I guess these are all... Um... Or did I just never look at it? I guess these are all pods containing Rachni or something? Is that what they're I'm looking at? Or... This is just some kind of machinery. It's really not clear. It's under the ice. It looks kind of cool. Eh, now I'm stuck. Um, similar kind of story on this side, I guess. Except I really can't get to the window over here. There we go. 
I don't remember seeing this in the original. Either I just never looked, or um, they changed something. Nothing to see here. Online. How can I help you? Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input 8750200079. Code Omega local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. And we have two minutes to get out of here. Alright, that, that went well. I just immediately went well, didn't it? Let's hope... Um, Oh, it's the small guys that are causing issues. I want everybody protected as much as possible. Oh. I hate these things. Have I told you I hate these things? As long as they can hit me with their annoying acid, we're good. All right, there's still two more. Actually, now there's still two more. All right, that could have gone worse. All clear. It's too bad you can't see, uh, the huge numbers of them outside, that would have been cool. But we don't have time to check it out, we only have 30 seconds left. Just once I'd like to leave a planet without blowing it up. Alright, and that concludes Noveria. We can't go anywhere anymore. So, can't go and, uh, I guess you could go back here. Don't want to, but you could. If you, uh, wanted to, to talk to the shop here again, you can't. But I do believe that this takes you straight back to Normandy. And What's I'm our right. next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. Look, this is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then released the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? 
This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. My children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. I like how you're, um... How they're so worried about the Rachni, but Reapers? No. We're not worried about those. Um... Why do I have a an X in my CIC for that? I don't know. All right, let's do a round of ship. Talk to some people. Why am I glad to be off of Novaria? I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, Commander. Um, I'm guessing that's because we're female. Are you saying that last part? Also, corporations are worse. I can handle the cold. I have to go. All right, see you. Okay, I'm I'm gonna take the other stairs. Probably the first time I've ever done that. I don't know. I might have done it before. I think I actually needed it this time. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Yeah, but it still won't be easy on you. Plus, it was really, you know, Sovereign's fault. She was indoctrinated. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Does this give anything new? Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? Benezia was swept up in events beyond her control and lost herself. She fell under the spell of indoctrination and became part of the very thing she wanted to stop. But I will remember and honor how she lived, not how she died. My mother was strong, kind, and beautiful. And now she is gone. Are you gonna be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her, and I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. I like talking with you, Liara, no matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity, but those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge, identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. It sounds amazing. Are you saying... No! Oh no! Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. 
want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over. I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's... let's talk about something else. Yep, it is. I would guess, uh... Not easy to have those kinds of feelings under those kinds of circumstances. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Look how even now this still gives me XP. Um, and codex entries. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. I mean, there are reports to file on the Rachni and on Analeas. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Furnace. Yeah, we know that better uh, than before, do we? After everything that's happened. People will go to great lengths to deny that there's a problem. Regardless of it, whether it's staring them in the face or not. I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana, broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed, you know? And like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do, just something. And Vernus lost it, beat the crap out of me, kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon, right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. So you just casually tell us you killed a guy for no real reason? Yeah, I guess you were defending the girl. Which is good. But the losing control and killing him part, maybe not so much. Somewhat understandable, I guess. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Alright, let's go down to the hangar bay. On the world's slowest elevator ride still. 
They really couldn't have improved this one. I just don't get it. I will say that every time. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. I mean, that is basically what's going to end up happening anyway. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I don't think the council's protecting Saren. Do I think they're, you know, incompetent fools? Yes, but I don't think they're deliberately protecting Saren. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It was yours. You know... You really should talk to Chisoni about her mom. She has to be hurting. Just saying, Skipper. Already did. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? Sure, if you have time. Figured you'd be busy with tactical briefings and whatnot. Don't know what I think about us attacking today, of all days. Kind of an ill omen. You mean on the anniversary of the first contact war? The end of it, yeah. My family always marks it. I'm the only Williams here. I guess you'd be the only other one interested in it. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shan Shi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of him. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave, and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Grandad dispersed the troops, but when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. 
He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're a valuable part of my crew, Williams. If I want an opinion from the head, I go to Elenko. When I want one from the heart, I go to you. I also play a mean game of pool. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Then somebody must have ended up feeling awfully sorry for her, considering she ends up like Lieutenant Commander by the third game. Despite the fact not that she's not even an officer at this point. So she gets um, offered uh, a commission and promoted all the way to Lieutenant Commander in like the space of two and a half years. And then becomes the first human inspector. All this assuming she survives Vermeer, of course. Even even uh, Caden, I think he only makes Major, which in the weird hybrid rank system that Mass Effect uses is lower than Lieutenant Commander. Shepard. Rex. So you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. Well, you could go home, rally your people, get the help of a female Krogan voiced by Lanny Manila, and then, um, you know, solve all your problems. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm no hero, Shepard. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. Well, you're relying on us, and we're relying on you. So long, Rex. Shepard. Um, Tali is next. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. I mean, not really. <laughs> I guess it's because I talk to him so often. That's why they're all acting like we're getting close to the end. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Tally. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot. And it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. Aw, oh, don't mention it, Tally. I'm gonna miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. And we'll uh, see a lot of her, considering that... I should go. See you later. 
that she and Garrus are the only crewmates that are crewmates in every game. Not even Liara has that distinction. Okay, I'm gonna mess about with inventory. And then I'll be back. It occurred to me I did not talk to Caden about the mission. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, who has been as he anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's hurting, though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. We weren't out here during the Rachni War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. I mean, I guess that's true, but they weren't there. I was. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Alright. I actually managed to get a bunch more Spectre weapons. I have a, my own Spectre sniper rifle now. And Tali has a Spectre shotgun, and Liara has a Spectre pistol. I'll get Rex and Garrus their own Spectre weapons later. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Because I can only buy one round. After I've been to the Citadel, I'll be able to buy more again. All right. Because I am going to go to the Citadel next. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the comm room. Oh yeah, this is when they tell you about Vermeer, isn't it? Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. That's scary, isn't it? You mean spies. Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Alright, um... I don't think I've ever tried doing Vermeer first. It's usually the last thing I do. The last major mission I do, anyway, before... Ilos. Maybe I'll switch that around this time. Just to, uh mix things up. But for now, we are going to go to the Citadel. Do some more side quests there. Matriarch's writings. Nobody ever fought to check there, even though there's like a major, major settlement here. We still have to leave uh, Vermeer. Oh, not Vermeer. Oh, there we go.
All right. One of the only things I really liked in uh, Andromeda was the ship travel and the way you could see outside the ship where you were, even when you landed. It was really pretty and well done. All right, and we're back at the Citadel. See if I can find that last keeper. Um, let's take Garrus and Rex. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. And first we get to deal with Rear Admiral Asshole. Which is unfortunate. I remember when I was first playing this game, and I was talking to Nora on Skype and telling her about it. And I kind of wanted to show her, so I like screen shared on Skype to play the game. And I was like, oh, I'll show you the Citadel. And I hadn't been back there yet, so then I suddenly have to deal with this guy. <laughs> they were like, I don't want to do this yet. I just want to show her the Citadel. Rear Admiral Mihailovic. Fifth Fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I already don't like this guy. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no. We had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. You must be fun at parties. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits at element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. Um, it's anything but useless? Also, about studying the Turing design in a lab, how do you do that? If you want to see how effective it is in actual conditions, it's not really something that's well suited for lab study. You know, bridge design. We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy could be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. They're standing right behind me, and I would think that Rex at least wouldn't take that so easily. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. 
That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? I think Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance Navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I'd planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. There is at least one Codex entry. I think there might actually be two that are locked behind using Renegade conversation options with him. Which is very annoying, and it's the reason why those two Codex entries were not present in my um, secondary Codex video. Because you can't get them if you're Paragon. Okay, I definitely scanned this one. Didn't think that was the one I was missing, but... Just double checking. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. Now we're starting to get news reports about things we've done, rather than things we can do. I think we actually got all the... ...assignments you can get from... Um, oh, and cheese hair, great. Uh, all the assignments you can get from news reports, I think we have all of them. Commander Shepard? Kalisa have been seen in Aljalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? As um, much as it's tempting to punch her, I do prefer to keep a good image. The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. Speaking of your new job, did the Council order you to sabotage human research concern on Novaria? Um, no. No, they didn't. The Council had nothing to do with it. There was an accident at Binary Helix Labs. In the interest of protecting the company's confidentiality, I can't say more. That's a surprising revelation, Commander. We've had nothing but stonewalling from Binary Helix. Given your recent experiences, do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? Respect's a funny thing. People always assume they deserve it. The truth is, respect is earned. And I firmly believe we can earn it. You're an idealist, Commander, but a sincere one. I hope you're right. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the Council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's... surprising, Commander. The official line says Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Well, that wasn't 
too bad, I guess. Um, I know I got this, the keeper here, but I want to check the requisitions officer. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Um, more chances to buy... Uh, Spectre weapons. Right now I'm... not super high on cash because of all the purchasing I did, so I'm going to leave that be for now. Scorpion 6 heavy armor. If you have Scorpion 6 light armor, I might get it. You do. It is better than what I have, but not by an awful lot, and... Human light armor is fairly common, so... Doesn't seem like that's worth it, really. I don't really have any good Omni tools or anything, no. We'll get the license, though. Yeah. I already have better than all of this. All right, let's um, head up to the Presidium. Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. All right, um, is there a keeper down here? That would be an easy one to miss. I don't think there is. Well, on this side, anyway. There's not one here either. We should go talk to Nasana. I'm fairly sure I got all the keepers in that area though. Might be one on this bridge or near this bridge. There's none on this side either, I don't think. No. Oh. I am very prone to accidental right-clicking. We already did Nasana's mission, so she did not contact us on the way in. That doesn't mean she won't still have something to say. I know you. You're Commander Shepard, the Human Spectre. Is there something I can do for you? You're Nisana, right? I ran into your sister, Dahlia. Didn't end well for her. What? Are you saying she's... Dahlia's dead, Nisana. And I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. Could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. 
I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. And she still gives us 26,000 credits, but sure. Um, I got this one. Yep. There's no others here? No. Um, there isn't one in his office, right? No. Can you actually buy, like, does it actually do anything when she gives you, like, that authorization to buy those mods? Like, does that accomplish something? Is that, it's like, similar to getting a license? Or where do you buy those? I don't really know. I'm pretty sure I got everything back there, and there's no reason to go there right now. Let's head over to that side, just to check if there's any other place. I've missed, and because I know there's a side quest waiting for me, pretty sure I got that one. And I think I got the one that's here down here too, so that can't be it. Probably like missed one in the council chamber. Nope, I got that one. Um, nothing else here. Um, fairly sure I got the guy back here. Yep. Let's see if there's anything interesting to buy. Commander, it is good to see you again. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so. Um, of course I didn't have, I don't have, uh... Tolly with me. I do think that's better than what she has. And considering... I think it might be better on tech, biotic, and shields, but maybe not... Damage protection. Considering how rare Quarian armor is, I guess I'm just going to buy it. Uh, medium Turian armor. That is definitely better than what he is wearing. And it's better than that one. It's also much more expensive. It's fine. Um, no good heavy Krogan armor here. Although even that is better than what he has. At least on damage protection. Doesn't really feel, seem worth buying level 2 armor at this point though. I'll just get that. He's still wearing his original armor, so it would be nice to get some better Krogan armor. There's no keeper in here? Nope. There should be the parents here? Yes, there are. I, I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby too. Can I help with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. <sighs> My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. 
My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. Um, extranet reports here taking the place of Facebook and Twitter, I'm assuming. Neither of which... Well, Facebook may have existed in 2007. Wasn't very big yet, though. Twitter, I don't, don't think existed yet. When this game came out? What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? 1 in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that 1 in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. Yeah, and if he dies of a heart condition, then you'll always wonder if you could have prevented it. Um, neither of those are particularly great odds. It's not like, you know, vaccine where it's one in several million usually. And, I mean, she does say there are treatments if he does get the condition, so... Then why did the cousin die? I don't know. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this is not your decision. Of course it is. I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes the tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. And I actually leveled up from that. Well, now I only got two points. So that originally happened at level... 36? Alright. Sure. Makes sense. Anyway... Um, let's just do Nemesis and Spectre training for now. Oh, Garrus, I haven't leveled up in a while. There, at least now we can always do hard decryption and hard electronics. Even if we don't bring Tali. Um, that has a lot of impact on melee damage. It's not that important for him. Still, adrenaline burst can be a useful thing to have. So advanced damping and just do sniper rifles or not. Rex needs a bunch of points as well. Let's do advanced shield boost, advanced immunity, shotguns. Barrier. I don't like stasis. So let's do throw. Mm 
No keepers bind here. Of course we got that one. There's no keepers on the other bridge either. Are there? Please do not disturb the keepers. Yeah, you can click on that. Did I get that one? No! That's the last one! Data collection complete! So you know I got 53,000 credits for doing that. Rather than the like 25 we got in the beginning, so... Leaving that mission for later can be much more lucrative. But like I said, you don't really need it. I need to go to the tower to talk to Kohoku and I think Emily Wong is there. I'm surprised that you're willing to kill your own, Rex. Aren't the Krogan just a few generations away from extinction? You don't get it. For all your talk of honor and pride, the Turians never had to test their principles in a real struggle. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. That's one way to look at it. I'm deliberately not fast traveling because I want to hear the news reports and squat made dialogue. Though I might fast travel on the way down. Oh yeah, we need to talk to Gareth as well. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's... dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. He didn't seem convinced of that, but... Um, I would definitely want to know. I can't talk to Jalid again. No, I'm waiting to speak. Commander, any word on my missing men? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a thresher maw. A thresher maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Baines is still not going anywhere, I don't think. Captain Anderson said you had information on Baines. Not as much as I'd like to. One of my crews found him, frozen stiff on board a derelict vessel. The missing recon group? The one I sent you to find? They were scouting the system we found Baines's ship in. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. And he will, and it's going to point us to Cerberus. Yep, there's Emily Wong. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. Seems like the kind of item John Oliver would do. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. 
The council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. That sounds like a worthy cause. Um, I need to... Actually, I need to go to... The ward's access in the Presidium. Because... I need to go to the ward access corridor and you can only reach that by elevator. There is no fast travel there. It must be hard for you, Garrus. Knowing that the person behind all this death and destruction is a Turian Spectre. Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. Glad to hear it. I was losing sleep over the prospect of people not loving the Turians. I'm sure you were. The reason I am here is because I believe that you need to go here for... Spacer hey, Shepard's hey, personal you're mission. A shepherd kid. Hey, been a long time, huh? I'm sorry, do we know each other? Uh, I guess you don't remember me. Lieutenant Zabaleta, I, I worked with your mother. We served on the carrier Einstein. Well, that was 12, 13 years back, though. You were just a kid then. I guess you're not in the service anymore, huh? <laughs> you're retired, yeah. You know how it is. Times are tough for vets. They always are. I didn't see her much that tour. The ship was on patrol most of the time. Hey, call your mom up and ask. She'd remember old Zabaleta. She'd vouch for me. Look, I need a favor. I'm kind of short on money these days. I hate hitting you up for money, but a man's gotta eat, right? So, could you spare something? Maybe 20 credits. 20 isn't enough to get you back on your feet, is it? No, no, no. I I'll just get a, a meal. You know. Yeah, it's not a problem. You're a good kid, you know that? Thanks. You ever want to come by and talk, I'll be here. Huh? <laughs> Can't afford a ticket home, right? <laughs> that cost us 20 credits. Now, I think we can actually go to the Normandy and uh, call our mother to talk about that. Like I said earlier, this is probably an easy mission to miss because if you're already done with keeper scanning and done the signal tracking rogue AI mission, then there's no reason to ever come here. I've been raised to seek rogue as bloodthirsty thugs, but you've surprised me, Rex. You are different. The genophage is a lot easier to swallow when all Krogan are savage monsters, isn't it? Why don't you head back to the Normandy, kid? If you stay here in the real world, you might have to learn something. Dehumanizing the enemy is pretty standard propaganda tactic. Um, I have a few things to do here. Um, Dr. Michelle is one of them. 
Not that there's anything going on with her, but I would like to purchase some better first aid interfaces. Don't need any manager gel. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Um... I need him for me, for... Um, for Tali and Liara. And Caden. But I already have a four, so I'll just buy these top three. Wow, okay, these are actually very expensive. <laughs> Maybe I'll just buy the one for me. <laughs> That should be nice enough for now. We'll come back here again. This one also gives you a reduction in power cooldown. That's nice. Among the most useful things to buy in this game. Most other things you'll find regularly elsewhere, but this not so much. You do encounter it sometimes, but not always. Um, the gambler should be at flux, right? out of there. Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor. Only as an experiment. That's still cheating. Still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy. Of course, nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. Why don't you just sell the device, then? What? No. This device is archaic. It uses brute force to achieve its goal. Besides, you saw how easily it was detected. My system, when it's complete, will be far more efficient and completely undetectable. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to they allow... They swapped them around on me. Quickly. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. Um... The super paragon way to do this, of course, is to say you'll do it and then give the device to Doran. Which is what I think I did last time, and it's what I will do again. I'll help you out. Huh. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. That's not what well, I... I like Doran, so... What did you hear exactly? Oh yeah, Rita's sister's back too. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. They should be. Aren't you? I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. You're just salty. She's a better waitress than you. Uh, where is Doran? I think he's upstairs, actually. Yep, he's in the corner there. Hello again. Can I help you? I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. 
Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Uh, take a few shots at the Quasar. On the house. I should be going. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Proceeds to give me 16,000 credits. Not exactly uh, a few shots at the Quasar. Still can't dance. No. I could have sworn you could dance here. Maybe that's only in the second game. So, did you record five wounds with the device yet? Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I gonna do now? Maybe you should put your talents to better use. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. We're happy to be of help. Um, we should also go down to the markets and deal with Conrad Werner as much as I don't want to. It's a bank statement. It shows that I bought something from you when I bought it. Well, thank you for buying from me, but this still doesn't prove that you purchased that item from my store. But I didn't buy anything else here. How do I know that? If you don't have the proof of purchase, I can't help you. But... Sorry. This is too funny not to listen to. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your Show return? me what you've got. Most excellent. Can't talk about Noveria anymore. Um... Now I, like, don't have enough money anymore. Cypher tool 5. Not really worth it. Grenade upgrade 3 is, though, and so is the license. There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And your grace and skill have inspired a whole legion of admirers, too. Hey, can I get your picture? Uh, sure. No problem. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Ah, uh, yes, your wife. We have dismissed that claim. Let's talk to Morland too, to see if he has anything to buy. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good thing. That is actually really, really good Turian armor. Which I now can't afford, so... And some Corian armor, which I don't really know if that's better or not than... Interesting, it's not red anymore. Uh, I think it's because I'm on compare view, apparently. I don't know if it's better or not, or not than the one I bought already. 19, 168, 21. <laughs> Um, 17, 133, 25, so it's kind of a wash. It's definitely better on damage and shields, not so much on tech biotic protection. Can't afford it though. Yes, human, you need something, yes? 
Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. Um, does he have anything standard? Wait, why is this under standard items? It's not the same one. Just a license that I might as well buy. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Some stuff to sell, I guess. Just this, really. <laughs> and Garrus' old armor. Yeah, no, that's not going to get me anywhere near the cost of that. We'll be fine after a few missions. I think that's all we can do down here. No reason to go back to Korra's den. I just need to go to Normandy to talk to... Somebody. Oh, My mom. Since I bought it. Hey, are you refunding his stuff? Here you go. Your account will be credited. You did! You took his return! Look, I'm telling you, I bought this here. Why won't you return it? I can't take it back unless you... I know, I know. Unless I have a proof of purchase. Poor guy. All that for a toaster. Window of the car looks kind of cool. Mm. Let's go plant that bug too. Which is um, up on that side. Can we still hack that terminal even though we talked to Helena Blake? No, we can't. Nothing else we can talk to Chellick about. Good to see you, Commander. Didn't think so. Inconspicuous location. Um, and I think you actually need to go back to Emily Wong, yep. Let's go to Normandy first, though. Because we have to go back after talking to our mom, too. So tell me. Who'd win in a fight between you and Shepard? That question smacks of impertinence. Commander Shepard is a specter with a distinguished service record. So was Saren. Think about it. He's right, though. I would win. Saren might, too, if it's one-on-one. -on -one, but, you know, I'll be there, so he'll be fine. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. De Log. You know the commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. We didn't get to hear decontamination complete. Um, I think you need to go to the calm room. Yep. Computer, give me a real-time connection to the Dreadnought Kilimanjaro. I want to speak to my mother, Exo Shepard. Shepard speak? Oh, hi. I don't have time for a personal call right now. I'm on duty. I know what that's like. Do you remember Lieutenant Zabaleta from the Einstein? Ernesto? Have you heard from him? He was one of the Marines who guarded the CIC. We shared a watch. I lost track of him after... There was an incident. I've seen him here on the Citadel. Looks like he's had some hard times. I don't doubt it. You remember the Batarian raid on Mindwar in 2170? You were in high school. 
The Einstein's task group responded to the May Day. The Batarians were still pulling out when the Marines hit groundside. Zabaleta was one of the first down. He... he was never quite the same after. I don't understand. What happened down there? About every abomination that a sentient being can do to another. To a slaver, a person is just another animal. And humans aren't always liked out here. We heard about corralling. Uh, culling. They'd shoot those they couldn't use, implant control devices in the skulls of those they could, without anesthetic. He has post-traumatic stress because of what he saw? He tried to keep working, but it rode him. He showed up drunk on duty more and more. We couldn't always cover for him. The Alliance discharged him. Everyone knew he drank because of what he'd seen down there, even if he never talked about it. Especially because he never talked about it. For it to have affected him that deeply, he must have been a very sensitive man. He was. Always in laughter and tears. If you see him, tell him we still worry about him. Tell him to go to the Veterans Affairs office. I have to go. But take care of yourself. You're making us proud. Kilimanjaro out. It's another uh, fairly tragic mission. I have another X, which means I'm going to get a message, right? Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that, but you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. There is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. I wasn't aware of that. I won't discuss him again, sir. I'd appreciate that, Commander. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. I don't actually want to go to the Galaxy map right now. Wait. Have another message? No. I don't. Is there just always an extra and I never noticed? I don't know. Alright, well after finding out what we just heard, uh, we should go back and talk to... Um... We are Antali, we're not. And talk to, uh... Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. And talk to the guy again. Um... It's a pretty tragic story. So is your... Souls, um... Uh, the background for the uh, the other uh, one I had in Let's Play, I forgot what it's called. Colonist, I think. I don't remember what the Earthborn one was like. Uh, we'll give Tolly her new armor, which at least is in her original colors, so that's an improvement. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions, demonstrating that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic mind. We'll have exclusive footage later today. Wait, how is it exclusive footage if the interview already aired? What other footage do you have? Uh, we need to go to the tower to talk to Emily Wong, actually. I'm already getting readings! This is gonna make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. 
Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. Thanks for your help. Here's enough money to buy a car. I know, I know. RPG logic, it's just really funny to me. How the scaling of the money with your level means you get so much money. Later on in the game for these trivial assignments. I could not help but notice that you are attracting some unfriendly stairs, Tally. Many think less of Quarians for traveling in the flotilla and for creating the Geth. They see us as scavengers, little better than thieves. That is an ignorant opinion. Quarian explorers have uncovered more mass relays than any other race. I am glad that some still remember the contributions my people have made. Well, if anyone would, it would be the Asari, right? Consider they live so long. Not Liar personally, obviously wasn't around back then. Um, actually, can't I give Tali my old medical interface? I can. I don't have anything else to give her, but... You know she now has two slots. What do you say we head down to Cora's den after she? Hey, back again, huh? I don't suppose you got any credits to spare. I spoke to my mother. She told me about what happened on Mindoir. Oh, <sighs> did she? I wonder. People tie like prize hogs, locked in cages, clawing and screaming as they're loaded into cargo pods. And we couldn't reach them. The Batarian defenses had us pinned. Dozens died trying to advance. All we could do was watch as they hauled people away. I've been looking for 13 years for something to make that sight go away. What have you got, huh? Is the... Is the colonist uh, personal mission actually about the same thing? Because that was somebody who was kept as a slave. Wasn't that Mindor as well? I think it might be. I'm not gonna give you money to drink yourself to death. You need to stop this. If you don't have a better option, just give me 20 credits. A good bottle of whiskey. Enough to stop the dreams. My mother said to go to the Veterans Affairs Office. You're not the only one who's seen that brand of hell. They can help. The VAO? God! <sighs> Alright. If she wants me to go talk to someone, fine, I'll do it. For her. She always stuck up for me. <laughs> she always was naive. All the VAO does is pump you full of chemicals. If she wants to talk, tell her she can reach me through the Citadel VAO. And another good deed done. All right, we just need to get back With to all this Normandy. Exploration of Prothean culture. This must be like a survey for you, Liara. Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. Yes, most of the technology I had hoped to bring back to the flotilla has subsequently attempted to kill us. That can be a disadvantage. Took that corner a bit weird. Um, where's the fast travel? Oh, it's on that side. I was assuming that it was going to be by the car, but I forgot. Actually... You know what, I completely forgot to look at er anything other than um, non-human armors, and he might have a license with um, this shop, and he might have a license or metagel or grenade upgrade or something for me as well.
Commander. It is good to see you again. Show me your items. Oh, the Not going to be able to afford any of this. This is what I'm interested in, though. Nothing else. Commander, it is good to see you again. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased. Yeah, no, nothing of interest there. Why would I spend 500,000 credits on a... Um, ammo mod. Alright, now let's return to the Normandy. A research station on Novaria has reportedly been destroyed. The exact cause is currently unknown. Given the research conducted on Novaria, many are blaming the destruction on an experiment gone awry. Administrator Anoleus currently faces criminal charges as a result of the disaster, although the nature of the charges remains unclear. I guess so. I guess Parasini didn't really want to talk about it. Stand All right. by shore party. That concludes in progress. our second visit to the Citadel. Dec Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. And I think that also concludes this video, so we will continue in the next video.